Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Rary PPTV The Week. Our main topics include interesting reactions regarding the EU investigations against cheap imports from China and German solar companies trying to secretly gain even more money from the energy transition by not paying the EEG. Furthermore, we will have our usual news flash with topics from the PV industry summarized for you. Nice to have you clicked in. Exemptions from EEG surcharge for solar companies. The EEG revocation charge is the contribution that each citizen pays directly with his electricity levy bill for the expansion of renewable energies. However, there are exceptions, so not everyone has to pay this charge. In Germany, about 1000 companies with high energy consumption are already exempted from this levy. However, the costs are then passed on to the public. The Federal Office of Economics and Export Control has now published a list with the names of companies that are excused from the EEG. Surprisingly, also German solar companies are included in this list. Those companies are namely the Freiberg German Solar, Centro Solar and the Anglo-German company PV Crystallux Solar Silicon from Bitterfeld Wolfen. All companies that have benefited heavily from the energy transition, companies which are responsible that the EEG relocation charge and inevitable the price of electricity rises higher than necessary and which are therefore jointly responsible for making the solar industry liable as the scapegoat for rising prices. Reactions to EU investigation against cheap imports from China Following the announcement of the European Commission to launch an investigation against cheap Chinese imports initiated by the Bonn-based company SolarWorld, more and more voices out of the solar industry criticizes the move. Many companies would have to fear for their existence if the verdict went against China, because a large number of engineers, project managers and mechanical engineers actually benefit from the Chinese as suppliers and customers. Already today, the majority of European solar providers calculate with the low prices of Chinese cell and module suppliers. We have talked with officials of the German company Solar Energy Trading. The Chinese manufacturers or the Asian manufacturers in general have always tried hard to adjust prices here in Germany in order for the industry to continue. Due to the tariffs, prices will rise now and that will definitely have consequences. In recent months we have already noticed that sales have declined drastically and we really need a price cut again. If that happens, we would have exactly the opposite and the sales would be much more difficult for us. So for our company that would certainly mean damage. Politicians also criticize the verdict. The conservative British MEP Robert Sturdy urged the EU to first seek a negotiated solution and avoid a solar war. During a visit in China in late August, German Chancellor Angela Merkel, the need of political solution in the solar dispute. Also, Jiga Shaha, chairman of the Coalition for Affordable Energy, looks critically at the punitive tariffs against China. Solar World is seeking to institute trade barriers and tariffs to support its business at the expense of the majority of the solar market. The solar industry growth, which results in adding jobs and infrastructure investment, is correlated to the reduction in solar system costs, and this cost reduction goal is undermined by Solar World's legal initiatives. The last thing the US and European solar industries need is the further escalation of a trade war in which there will be no winners. US. Democrats call for extension of renewables. Renewable energy technologies including solar and climate change are mentioned in the official platform of the US Democratic Party, which was presented at its nominating convention in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Democratic Party has called for an extension of renewable energy subsidies and an end to tax subsidies for oil companies and describes climate change as one of the biggest threats in this generation. On all of those points, the party stands in contrast to the opposition Republican Party. Silicon to close factory in Mexico. As part of its ongoing restructuring, Spanish company Silicon SA 
has announced that it will close its production in Tijuana, Mexico and consolidate manufacturing operations in Europe. The company attributed the move to a need to reduce costs and improve market position and did not say how many workers will be affected. Silicon will now produce modules solely in its factories in Spain and Romania, featuring fully and semi-automated production lines with 280 megawatt of total capacity. SunTech and SAG SolarStrom collaborate. Chinese SunTech Power Holdings and SAG SolarStrom, a provider of high-quality photovoltaic power plants based in Freiburg, Germany, have signed a contract for SunTech to supply approximately 26 megawatts of monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar photovoltaic panels, which will be used for new power plants in Germany. California legislature limits fees for rooftop PV. A bill placing limits on permitting fees that local governments can charge for rooftop solar photovoltaic installations has passed both houses of the California legislature and will now go to Governor Jerry Brown for approval. Senate Bill 1222 will limit it permitting fees imposed by cities and counties to $500 plus $15 per kW above 15 kW for residential rooftop PV plants. US Vermont closes small-scale renewables. The Renewable Energy Resource Center based in Burlington, Vermont, reported that Vermont's small-scale renewable energy incentive program is closed and funds have been fully allocated. The program, initiated in June 2003, provided funding for new solar water heating, solar photovoltaic, wind and microhydro energy system installations. TSMC builds new PV models. Taiwanese company TSMC Solar has produced 14.2 efficient thin film PV modules at its facility in Taiwan. The company has begun the certification processes for these modules and expects to make them commercially available in early 2013. TSMC Solar also reports that its current production of PV modules are consistently achieving 13% efficiency. Baker Renewables install PV system at jail. Baker Renewable Energy from North Carolina has installed a solar thermal system comprising 138 individual solar thermal collectors. The solar heating system represents the largest solar hot water system in Virginia. The solar thermal system will offset about 30% of the New River Jail's natural gas usage and will provide 2.5 million gallons of hot water per year for the facility. An outlook to the stock. The global stock index for renewable energy, Renix World, has increased to 1.46%, which are 2.49 points in yesterday's trading. Renix closed with 172.52 points. Biggest winner is the Chinese manufacturer of wind energy transmission units, China High Speed Transmission, with an increase of 11.1% to $32 cents. Next is the American solar manufacturer First Solar, with a gain of 9.1% to 20.55 US dollars. Worth Apollo Solar, a Chinese solar PV supplier, ranks at bottom of the list. Also, the US manufacturer of inverters Power One losses clearly by 6.8% to $6.15 US cent. Next week, there will be a massive event for the solar industry, led by former US President Bill Clinton. The Solar Power International in Orlando, Florida will be held from Monday 10th to Thursday 13th. At the largest solar fair in the US, Clinton will give a long-awaited speech to promote alternative energy. And of course, the Rio PVTV team will be live on site and report exclusively for you of all events surrounding the exhibition. So those were the news for this week. Next Friday we will be back for you as usual with our weekly news. In the maintain, I also recommend you to follow our daily news on our website pv.tv. Until then, see you and goodbye.